Misadventures of Cy and Elmer. Once again, we look into the office of Hank Hawkins, the sheriff of Punkin County, and find him in heavy conference with those two highlights of mail-order detecting, Cy and Elma. The precious evidence has arrived at last, as the airplane brought the pictures back from Kansas City. Now, we will listen in on the discussion and see whether Cy's moving picture camera was good enough to get a clear picture of the ghostly train that has carried six men off on six midnights. The detectives and the sheriff have four pictures... Spread out on the desk in front of them. Ah, the clues. Say, now, this is certainly something now, ain't it, Sheriff? Look, are you sure them pictures is good enough to do us any good, sir? Nah, they ain't as good as I thought they'd be, Emmy. Well, now, don't worry none about them pictures, boss. Three of them will do us a lot of good. Of course, the faces don't show up, but, well, it's a big help. Now, that one's plain enough, all right. Anybody can see that's a man. And he's off the ground, up in the air. And his arms are held down to his sides in a mighty peculiar way. And uh, what's it all mean, Sheriff? Say, si, would you give the Sheriff a chance? We just started looking at them pictures, and you want to know what the whole case is all about, right off. Yeah. Sheriff's right. The picture is a man. And he is in a mighty pretty position. And me and Elmer knows that that man is Pat, the section boss. Exactly. Now we'll work this out. Now, these pictures will do in a general way, and you boys know exactly how and where they were taken. So it won't take us long to reconstruct this here crime. Uh, do you like that? Reconstruct this crime, sir. Si. Uh. Now, take this picture here. That's no good at all. No, uh, nothing on that one but the railroad track. <laughs> Seven days wanted to meet ain't old like that. Because with Si shitting his eyes and ducking his head, every time one of them dirty faces we know, <laughs> say, it's lucky we got the picture to talk. Elmer, I was a trying to keep that camera pointed at Pat. Well, you caught him in a couple of them anyway, sir. Si. Uh. Now, here's the one I figure is going to do us the most good. Not very clear, but, well, if we study it right hard, we ought to see plenty in it at that. All right, what are you boys seeing? Well, uh, of course, my eyes ain't as good as they used to be. No, good. But it looks to me like there was uh, two fellers in that picture. Uh, I guess the camera was jiggled or something. No, sir. No, sir, Si. That camera went jiggly toe there. Uh. <laughs> That's the last picture we got. <laughs> By that time, you were so dirty and scared, so stiff, you couldn't jiggle nothing. Well, uh, can you see two fellas here, Emma? Certainly, I see two fellas. Yeah. If one of them made pet a section boss, and my eyes as bad as yours. How do you think about it, Sheriff? Well, of course, I've never seen Pat, and I don't know how I was dressed, but uh, there are two figures in that picture. And one of them is the same man that appears in the others. And that's Pat, all right, ain't it, Emma? <laughs> Pat is certainly shooting, but... Hey, who was that, Fader? We didn't see nobody else here, did we, Emmer? Sweet sassafras, Si. Certainly we never seen no other Fader. We had we'd arrested him right there. Well, we ain't no better off now. Eh, we can't arrest this picture. Well, we can come put in there doing just that, Si. Now, let's take it all over again. Slow and careful. Yeah, uh, Elmer might not understand it if you go too fast. Well, never mind about Elmer, Si. You just understand it. It's a good job that film developing company knows the business, I'm telling you. Uh, that number one ain't no good, is camera. Yes, yeah, so the one where you got scared and pointed the camera down the track. Yeah, others is all right anyway. Now quit fighting, boys, and get down to business. All right. Leave off for a while at fighting. Yeah. Now here's picture number two. Now, that's a pretty good one, a pad of walking down the track. And look, boys, take careful notice that he's got his hat on. Yeah. Now here's picture number three. That's where the fun begins. Yeah. Now, look close at that one. See if it don't show the same man 
up in the air about six feet and with his hat off. Well, it looks like it, but uh, my eyes ain't so good, you know. Yeah, well, my eyes is plenty good, and that's Pat, all right. Yes, sir. Hanging in the air with his hands down to his sides. And he ain't got his hat on, neither. Just the way I read that picture. Yes, sir. Now, before we go to the last one, let's see if we got anything to work on here. And what I'd like to know is, uh, what is a holding pat up there in the air? Well, my goodness, that's what we'd all like to know, but it don't show in the picture. Uh. Yes, at the time that picture was caught, the train was right under us, you know. That's when Pat gave that terrible big scream and lost his hat. But after this picture, uh, Pat never come back down to earth again, did he? Well, I reckon he didn't. Now we look at the last picture. There's two men there together. Yes, sir. Just as sure as old get out. But, well, they're standing. Well, uh, of course, uh, my eyes ain't so good. I but, uh, reckons if you don't shit up about them eyes, huh? you're good enough you're looking for something to eat. Uh, uh, tell you, Sheriff, what you think of that picture? Yes, sir. Tell you right off. Uh, them two fillies, they're standing on top of that other big bag. Uh-huh. Right straight across from where me and Si was. But what happened to them uh, after the noise of the train was all gone? Well, we'll find out. I'll think on this one, boss. Some way, the other man got Pat up there and done something to him. Yeah. Look close to that picture again now. See if there ain't something familiar about the other man. Look close there, see? Even if you can't make out his face. Well, uh, it looks to me like he's dressed kind of funny. His pants look awful big and shiny, and he's uh, got on a mighty big hat. Uh, but, of course, uh, I can't be sure uh, count to my eyes. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. I darn dig it. We know all about your eyes. Huh. Been hearing about him for nine to forty years. Uh, he's so good at it. Yeah. yeah, I got it, Sheriff. I got it. Look at them fellas' teeth. Look, look at that one fellas' teeth. The way them shiny things says. Looks like spurs to me. And there's only one man in this county who will stick them things into a horse. Why, well, Elmer Peabody, you don't mean this. Yes, it does, sir. And I got the idea the minute I looked at that picture. That big hat, them wide pants with stripes down the sides, and them circus spurs with the four-inch rowels, they belong to just one man in this here county. Sheriff is right, Elmer. Hey, but one fella around here dresses like that. Now we go to town, Sheriff. Say, that fella is... Hold on, hold on just a minute, boy, till I see who this is. Hello? Yeah, this Hank. Oh, hello, Zeke. What's that? Too bad. Well, no matter what it costs, you've got to keep those fellows there one more night. I don't care what you have to do. Tell them they'll get five dollars apiece for staying in that car tonight. Yeah, hire a special train and, well, take them a baggage car full of ice cream or, or buy them all a string of red peppers or whatever it is that keeps Mexicans happy. But if your funny railroad wants this thing cleared up, that section crew has got to sleep in that car tonight. Huh? Well, so are you. Uh, goodbye. Mm. Now, what's the matter, Sheriff? Yeah, Mexican boy is all scared and he quit in the day. He did it, Sheriff? Well, uh, I don't know. Of course, uh, my eyes ain't so good. Uh, Sweet uh, suffering Johnson grass. Huh? What is your eyes got to do with hearing what the Sheriff said over the phone, sir? Oh, uh, nothing, I reckon. Elmer's got it right, sir. Them boys is plumb scared to death. Plumb scared to death. They want to be paid off right now, today. That don't hurt us none, does it? Can't we just go down there and look for clues on top of the bank and the rest of it? Mm, seems to me we could where the boys was in the car night, but well, I reckon the sheriff knows what he's doing, sir. Hey, what are you planning on, sheriff? Well, we're going down there tonight, just as soon as it gets dark. And we're going to hide in the brush. Nobody. Not even the railroad men who know we're there, do you hear? We may do some good, but, oh, I doubt it. Uh, you doubt it? Hey, don't you think that train will come through again, Sheriff? My goodness. Come every night for a week, no matter who's there. Yeah. Why won't it happen tonight, Sheriff? Well, this fellow may be crazy enough to think he can fool all of us, but I'll bet that train is done. Now, in the first place, he knows that you was trying to take pictures of him last night, don't you? Yeah, well, then why didn't he just run away when we took the first one? Yeah, smart, sir. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Why did he keep on killing Pat or stealing him or whatever he'd done and let us take four pictures of him? Now, there's a slick question for you, Sheriff. Uh, Elmer Peabody can ask him. Yeah, well, I got some slick answers, too, for Elmer Peabody. That fella couldn't stop then or Pat would have got away to tell what happened to him. That's right. Now, uh, just a chance the train stunt will happen tonight. And if it does, boys, we're all going to be there. On both sides of the cut, and we're going to catch somebody. Yeah, that's all right, but what if the train uh, don't come through? Well, any written we just go and arrest the fellow we think it is. He did that easy. How about it, Sheriff? Now, don't forget that fellow on horseback who followed you on your handcar ride back to town. He likely followed you all the way to my house. And when he saw you go in, 
Fairly sure you officers. Yeah, he might have done that, all right, I guess. Well, uh, wait a minute now. How good a look did you boys get at him as he was following you along the track? Huh? Could you tell if he was the same one that's in the picture there? I don't uh, reckon it was the same fellow, Sheriff. Of course, uh, you know, uh, my eyes ain't just... Uh, I reckon if you say just one more word about them old eyes, you I'm going to shame my boat for you. Every dirt would have both of them put black curtains on them, too. Huh? You see, Sheriff, it really was getting pretty good moonlight, and we've seen that fellow on horseback, and... Well, I'd say right off it ain't the same ones in the picture. Now, I don't guess twice. Well, that makes it all the more interesting, then. We're dealing with a gang, and there's more than one clever man in it. Now, if we do arrest Manuel Enchilada Caliente, what motive do you figure he could have had for doing this? That's what's been worrying me, Sheriff, ever since I've seen who that picture looked like. Yes, sir, that's a stick up at us, Mexican you'd ever live. Yeah. He runs a good ranch, got some of the best cattle left on this here range. Folks call him the last real old-time rancher left in the East Hill Park. Well, he's always uh, dressed up fit to kill. Sure I know that. And he's always uh, showing off and uh, jangling them spurs all over the sidewalk. But he ain't got no reason to stop that railroad going through or to hurt nobody. Yeah, I reckon Si's right about that, Sheriff. we got to really catch his fit of doing something, or at least be able to prove that he killed all them railroad men, because... Well, he certainly ain't got no motive for doing it at all. That's right, Elmer. He ain't got no motive. Well, I don't like to disagree with you, boys. But there's one angle of this thing that you've all overlooked. We're going out to that section camp tonight. And if my guess is any good, we're going to arrest the one fellow in the world who's got a real motive for stopping that railroad. And that man is Manuel Caliente. What motive could the Mexican rancher have for trying to stop the building of a railroad? Your announcer will tell you when you may hear another episode of Cy and Elma over this station.